My name is Daniel Davis. Uh, I'm the executive director of the International Associ Association for World Englishes, uh, the organization that Larry and uh, Raj Khatru founded. Uh, I believe it was in 1978, although a number of the people here uh, could probably fill in the details a little bit better. But uh, it was an organization uh, founded for the uh, study of all forms of English all around the world. And um, it, uh, what we've done is uh, put together a symposium uh, in honor of Larry's life and work. Uh, I know that uh, Larry meant a great deal to every person here, including me, and uh, he was taken from us too soon. Um, but he, he, um, we, we celebrate his work every day, each of us in our own uh, academic uh, lives. And as I know that you do in, in the uh, lives that you lead in your various communities. Uh, so um, without further ado, I would like to uh, call on uh, Ms. Karen Knudsen, who is the Director of External Affairs for the East-West Center, uh, who will open the ceremonies on behalf of Charles E. Morrison, President of the East-West Center. Thank you, Karen. Thank you all for coming. And Charles Morrison, President Morrison, sends his deepest regret that he can't be here, sharing he does wish he could be here. Um, he's currently in China, uh, advancing some of the work that Larry helped set out here. Um, but welcome all of you to the East West Center. And I heard, overheard some of you as you came in saying, oh, this is lovely, what a beautiful setting. And for those of you who might be here for the first time, I do want to tell you that this is an amazing organization, and Larry has been part of it. What is still is, his memory lives on. His legacy lives on. But also, as you look out at this beautiful garden, I'd like you to imagine way, way back when um, a young man named Barry Obama played in the garden, President <laughs> Obama. <laughs> his mother received her master's degree and PhD on an East Coast Center scholarship. President Obama's stepfather, Lolo Satoro, from Indonesia, received his master's degree on an East-West Center scholarship. His mother also died fairly young, and her memorial service was held in our Japanese home. Uh, this, this place has seen a lot of leaders, emerging leaders, people who have changed the course of history in their respective fields of study and in their countries. So this is indeed a very special place, and we were honored to have Larry, part of this. He helped change so many lives while he was here. When we think of Larry, I, the word power doesn't really maybe come to mind because it was a gentle, soft-spoken person. And yet when I began thinking about Larry and his legacy at the East-West Center, the word power kept coming. The, the power of caring, compassion, kindness, and good manners. The Southern manners, the gentle voice, it's just, it was transforming. He was able to advance the East-West Center mission of understanding and bringing people together through his power of compassion and kindness. And thinking about different things, Englishes. Who would think Englishes are so different all around the world when you're in this, a particular country that speaks English, our way? I just watched a program last night on a public television here that was done several years ago on pigeon English and how important that is to the local culture. So what you're doing is so important, and thank you for coming here. I just want to share one of the visions and the legacies that Larry had, and again, this goes to the power of his ideas and his basic belief in the goodness of people. He had this idea when he was heading the uh, alumni development committee that if we honored other people, that would make folks want to give to the East West Center in honor of their friends. He had this idea about a virtual wall of honor. And I'll tell you, I had many conversations with him, and I was a skeptic. I said, nobody's going to give in honor of somebody else and have it be on a virtual wall of honor. I didn't get it. He prevailed, and I have to tell you, that is one of the most powerful things that we have now in terms of people thinking, I want to honor my friend. I'm going to nominate them for the wall of honor. And it's just been amazing to watch. And he had that idea because he did recognize the goodness in people. 
The other thing, and I think many of you who have been here, and thank you, Sharon, and, and your family for sharing him with us, he made time for what mattered. I couldn't believe he made time to take people to lunch, to go see them. He was very productive professionally, but the fact he had it right. And uh, I think that had an impact on all of us. So we are very grateful to have known him here. His legacy lives on. The fact that you folks are here will continue this legacy. And thank you very much. We're honored to have you here. We're honored to have you here. Thank you very much, Karen, for uh, welcoming us to East West Center. Um, and for your uh, thoughtful remarks about uh, Larry. Um, now, uh, I'd like to um, uh, begin with a recognition of the um, uh, members of Larry's family who have <laughs> traveled from a long way and also who uh, live locally and have come to attend um, this uh, symposium. Uh, it's very important to the members of the organization that uh, that Larry's family be here. Uh, we, we're an organization, we see ourselves as a family, uh, and that was inspired by Larry and also by Raj Khatru, I, I should say. Um, and so at this point, I will uh, read out the names of Larry's family members, and um, I'd like you, you please each to stand and remain standing until uh, I finish um, uh, saying everyone's names. Also, please don't applaud. I don't know if you thought you might applaud, and certainly you'd be worthy of applause, but, but hold applause to the end so that people can hear the names. Um, and then uh, we will uh, present uh, lays to the uh, members of Larry's family who've traveled a long distance to be here. Um, so uh, don't be surprised if for, the, for the women of the party that has come from the mainland, don't be surprised if um, uh, June uh, Hiromoto, who is the program officer, comes and presents you with a lay. Also, uh, is, that, is that Lindsay? And also Lindsay, who's helping with uh, tech and welcoming us. So first, I would like to say uh, Mrs. Sharon Smith, and then uh, Mr. Sean Smith, uh, uh, Mrs. Aaron Mass, uh, and Mr. Dustin Mass, uh, Mrs. Marilee Neal, I'll read slower. <laughs> um, Mrs. Shirley Craig. Mrs. Alice Padgett. And Mr. Dale Padgett. Mrs. Denise Maseko. And Mr. Wayne Kaneshiro. Mrs. Joyce Yomes and Mr. George Yomes. Uh, Mrs. Carol Miyamoto and Mr. Arthur Miyamoto and Mrs. Jane Larson. Um, and could everyone in the audience please join me in welcoming Larry's family to the
Thank you. Uh, now, um, uh, I also wanted to thank um, you know, Sharon for bringing this portrait of, of Larry, which is uh, presiding symbolically and spiritually over this meeting. Um, and uh, what we have for you today um, uh, are uh, a group of academics who worked with Larry and who were influenced by Larry, um, who used his work and his ideas um, in different uh, in their different types of research on linguistics and sociolinguistics and what Larry and uh, Braj Khatru call world Englishes, which is looking at different forms of English and what um, role they play in different societies everywhere. It's an idea that they worked on for, for 40, 50 years and were pioneers in this area, as some of the speakers will say today. But for those of you who are not academics. Um, really, since the Second World War, there's been a, a revolution in people's in academics' understanding of what English is. And uh, Larry was part of that uh, revolution. One of, the, one of the leaders, one of the thinkers who saw the potential for the English language, despite the ups and downs of the history of the English language and the, the reasons why it spread, the fact that it spread, and the changes that that created for the language um, are extremely important in terms of, of, of linguistics, in terms of how we understand languages and how we teach languages. And also the, the kind of, the way that language expresses personal identity and membership in a community. And, um, and also, the, I was uh, speaking with one of our speakers last night the, uh, it empowers the individual. And all languages do this, but um, English has, through, through various historical accidents and events, acquired this. So today, um, we've gathered together a group of academics. Um, each person will speak for 20 minutes or less. Uh, I will warn the person <laughs> at five minutes, and also at two minutes, and at 30 seconds, and when I stand up, they are finished. <laughs> so, just so you know, that's the, those are the rules of engagement. We have to make the rules of engagement clear. And I've been training for this, though. But, uh, so, but um, now, we're, we're a, a little bit ahead of schedule, but uh, each speaker will have 20 minutes. There will be um, uh, three speakers, uh, Professor Dissanayake, uh, Professor Anderson and Professor Hilgendorf, and then we will break for coffee and tea. That's the way academic symposia and conventions work. We'll have coffee and tea for half an hour, um, and then uh, we'll have uh, two more speakers, uh, Professor Webster and Professor Gargesh. Uh, then luncheon, a catered luncheon, will be um, in, the, uh, in the next room over, is that correct? Um, and I'll have more details. But certainly, you know, if you can beat me to the luncheon, then you're doing well. <laughs> but follow your follow your nose or follow me. I'll be running there. Um, and then at one o'clock, we'll begin again uh, with Professor Batia, Professor Bokamba, Professor Nelson, and then uh, Professor Batia will also read uh, a paper from uh, Professor Pandari Pandey. Uh, and then we'll have coffee and tea again, and snacks and, and uh, soda, 2.40 to 3.10. And then we will uh, finish up with uh, Professor Hino, uh, Professor Sridhar, and Professor Sridhar. And uh, I will read um, a paper sent by uh, Dr. Christopher, who was uh, Larry's, one of Larry's work colleagues, he had a work partner. And then, um, and then Mrs. Smith will close the will close the um, celebration. Um, so uh, I think that we can now uh, begin. And so I would like to call on uh, Professor Vimal Disanayake to um, address us.